everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. So today we'll be making a special dish. It's called paella in Spanish or paella, whatever you ha however you want to call it. But this is uh, a very um, special dish. I, I was so in love when, I, when, when we went to Spain and I would always order <laughs> paella. So we'll be needing... First of all, the star of the sea of the dish, uh, saffron, which I got this in uh, in Spain, uh, ground paprika, uh, onion, bell pepper, tomato, garlic, uh, shrimps. I got this um, lobster. There's only one. You know how how much the <laughs> lobster is. So it's fresh uh, lobster. And I got this cooked, uh, um, how, how do they call this, mussels. And for the rice, I'm using, I, do, I can't find the uh, bomba rice that they, they normally would use in, in um, um, paella. So I got this arborio. I think this is the second uh, best uh, rice they use. I've got some, uh, since my... Uh, Mussels are cooked, so I got this uh, clam juice. We also need the extra virgin oil, some tomato paste, paprika, and I have here, um, okay, chicken, <laughs> chicken uh, uh, broth. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so I'm using this uh, bronze. Uh, uh, frying dish. I don't have the payel, paellera, but uh, this is good enough. We'll be needing a lot of the olive oil. So what I'm gonna do is fry the chicken first. I have this. The I have here the drumlets, the portion of the the wings that I seasoned with salt and pepper and garlic. So we just try to fry them. Okay, so we don't want to cook them thoroughly. Just uh, brown the outside. Okay, so let's set this aside and start with the, our onion. Let this caramelize for a while. So now I'm going to add my red bell pepper. In, the, in Spanish, they call this sofrito. They, they uh, really fry the onions and the bell pepper. And we call it, uh, in the Philippines, we call it guinisa. Well, let's just wait for this to be really cooked on a medium low fire. Okay, so let's add our tomatoes. And let's season our sofrito. Ok, 
Okay, so we'll wait for this to be really cooked before we add our rice. Okay, now that our surfeit is done, let's add some uh, paprika. And I'll just add one tablespoon of uh, um, tomato paste. Okay, so now let's add our rice. Don't ever use the long grain rice. Uh, you can use there this uh, short grain, but uh, if you can uh, look for this uh, arborio, or better yet the bomba, then that would be perfect. So I just want to saute the rice with the sofrito. So now let's add our chicken broth the, um, what I'm, uh, my calculation here is uh, one is to two and a half so one cup of rice is uh, more or less uh, two and a half uh, cups of broth but you can start with the uh, less because less is uh, better in cooking then you can add some more if uh, there's a need Okay, so now let's add our meat. First, our chicken. Be sure to wash your hands. I think this is uh, one and a half pounds of uh, uh, chicken. Start of the dish. <laughs> Our saffron. You can add this uh, before uh, adding the uh, what do you call this? The broth. But that's okay. Okay, so now I have um, 
less than half a teaspoon of the saffron and I just want to crush it put it there so you don't do anything at this moment at this stage I mean and what I want to do is just uh, turn it because the fire is not uh, that even so you don't want to burn one side okay so at this time I want to add my lobster since these are raw this is raw so Maybe I'll just wait for another three to five minutes to add my shrimps because you don't want to overcook your shrimps. You can taste it at this time. Mmm. Wow. Okay, I'll just add the, a little salt. Okay, so now let's add our shrimps since these are raw. These are the jumbo shrimps. They have this uh, another uh, variety of um, uh, paella which is made from the uh, squid ink. It's a uh, paella negra. And we tasted it in when we were in uh, uh, Spain. And I want to add my uh, green peas so they'll be cooked too okay so the last that I'll add is the mussels but they're since they're cooked so let's just wait for them to be, be all the way cooked before I add it so I'm going to rotate my pan okay so my rice is not yet cooked so I just add another a cup maybe of uh, chicken broth so this one I just had my um, chicken bouillon So this is just chicken bouillon and water. Okay, so now it's cooked. Let's add our mussels. Okay, 
It's overloaded. Yay. <laughs> you just can't have enough uh, seafood. In, uh, in Spain, they have this razor clams. Uh, it's something like this um, long. And it's super delicious. Okay, so I've turned off the uh, oven by the stove. And let's just let this rest. Where's my cover? Okay, so let it rest for about uh, 15 to uh, 20 minutes, okay? 